Welcome to Global Defense. Several countries are urging their nationals to leave Lebanon amid escalating fears of a wider conflict in the Middle East. The U.S. has advised its citizens to depart on any ticket available, while the U.K., Sweden, France, Canada, and Jordan have issued similar warnings. This follows a series of violent exchanges between Hezbollah and Israel, increasing the risk of broader hostilities. The situation intensified after the assassination of Hamas political chief Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran, an act Iran attributes to Israel. This event followed the killing of senior Hezbollah commander Fuad Shukr in Beirut by Israeli forces. Israel has not commented on either incident. Western officials worry that Hezbollah, an Iran-backed militia and political movement based in Lebanon, could play a significant role in retaliatory actions, potentially provoking a severe Israeli response. In response to the growing tension, the U.S. and other Western nations are engaging in diplomatic efforts to de-escalate the situation. However, the urgency is clear. Flights out of Beirut's only commercial airport are being canceled or suspended, and ticket prices are soaring. Despite these issues, there has been no sign of panic among the population. Uh, the current wave of violence began when Hezbollah attacked Israel following deadly Hamas strikes on southern Israel on October 7th in a show of support for Palestinians in Gaza. Although both sides initially aimed to limit the conflict to border areas, Hezbollah has vowed to avenge Shukr's assassination. Recently, Hezbollah launched numerous rockets at the town of Beit Hillel in northern Israel, prompting Israel to retaliate with airstrikes on southern Lebanon. Adding to the instability, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut has advised those remaining in Lebanon to prepare contingency plans and be ready to shelter in place if necessary. The Pentagon has announced the deployment of additional warships and fighter jets to the region to defend Israel against potential attacks by Iran and its allies. The UK has also sent extra military personnel, consular staff, and border force officials to assist with potential evacuations. British military ships and transport helicopters are on standby. UK Foreign Secretary David Lammy has warned that the regional situation could deteriorate rapidly. Thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share this with others.